And so I've said, you know, a sensitive attitude to sin is the first thing that we need. And do we need a lot of preaching like this to become sensitive to sin? Do we need a lot of fellowship and young people's meetings and all that? You know, a lot of people say, our young people are not being revived. We don't have enough young people's meetings. I'll tell you the story of a man who never went to a single young people's meeting. Of he didn't even, who didn't even have a Bible. His name was Joseph. He was only 17 years old. Genesis chapter 37. You know what he didn't have? He didn't have a Bible. He didn't have a church to go to. He never went to a youth meeting. He was never filled with the Holy Spirit. He didn't even know about Jesus Christ. Christ had not yet come to earth and died. He had 10 older brothers who troubled him day and night. He had a God-fearing father who told him about God. Thank God he had at least one person. And his mother had died. Can you think of somebody like that? I don't think anybody here is like that. Mother dead, 10 older brothers who are troubling you. No Bible, no fellowship, no church, no youth meeting, nothing. We say, I'm not spiritual because I don't have any youth meetings. This guy had nothing. But he did have something which a lot of young people today don't have. You know what that was? A fear of God. A reverence for God which is almost completely lacking in most young people today. I have discovered through the years that is the most important requirement. The Bible says in Proverbs 9 verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The beginning of wisdom means wisdom is the life of Christ. The beginning of it is the fear of God. Not Bible study, not youth meetings, not even fullness of the Holy Spirit. Fear of God. Long before those things, fear of God. And what does it mean? It's the beginning of wisdom. It's like in a school. What is the beginning of your education? You learn A, B, C. C, A, T is cat. B, A, T is bat. That's the beginning of education. What is the beginning of the Christian life? The fear of God. And your alphabets. Okay. After some years, can you forget the alphabets? Say, oh, I finished with that. Now I go on to other things. You can never forget the alphabet for all of your life. The day you forget your alphabet, your education is finished. You can't study anything if you forget your alphabets. Is there ever a time in our life where we can say, okay, I finished with fear of God. I'm going to some other courses now. No. The fear of God is what underlies all growth. It's the ABC of wisdom and that's what Joseph had his father put some fear of God in him he told him about Abraham told him about Isaac and you young people who got parents who are believers boy are you lucky to come to a church where at least you hear something about Jesus Christ and the Bible